Hello and welcome everyone. This is Julie of Paper Plays Julie K. I'm so glad that you stopped by my channel. Today I am participating in the Christmas Crafts of 2018 YouTube Hop hosted by Sandy Nagel of Decorate Your Life and Robin Pitts of Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. This hop runs from November 17th through November 24th and giveaway drawings will be held on November 29th. There is a wonderful lineup today of some talented designers who will be sharing Christmas crafts and holiday decorating ideas. There will be lots of fun giveaways along the way. To participate in the giveaways, you need to be at least 18 years of age or older, watch all of the videos in the lineup, leave a meaningful comment on each of the videos, be a visible subscriber, thumbs up are always appreciated, follow any additional rules set up by the designers, and for my giveaway, I am opening this up to both USA and international. And I will share my full prize package with you at the end of this video. For full rules, please see the description box below. Today's lineup of talented designers includes the following. Shelley Geigel of JNS Hobbies and Craft, Rosa Kelly of Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, Sandy Nagel of Decorate Your Life, Robin Pitts of Robin M. Pitts, Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs, Kim Case of Creative Crafticality, Yours Truly, Julie Krabenoft of Paper Play with Julie K, Rosa Gomez of Rosa's Creative Way, Amador Bustamante of Amador Eros, Sandra Boos of Creative Paper Craft, Yorlis Borja of Pretties by Yorlis Borja, Sherry Wolf of CPR Craft Pray Repeat, and Carol Herlock. For my project today, I will be sharing with you some shabby chic ornaments that I created. And I actually made like close to about 30 of these ornaments and I still have a few more to go. Um, but today I'm just going to be sharing my favorites with you um, just due to time constraints. I do plan on posting more of these ornaments on my channel later this month. So if you are interested in coming back and checking those out, I would certainly love that. And then if you guys are interested in a tutorial, if you want to leave that below in the comments. Um, I haven't filmed one yet, but since I do have a few more to make, I could easily film it as I'm working on some of them and create a tutorial and have that up on my channel um, sometime in early December if you guys are interested. Um, so just let me know. And so I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to show you guys some of my favorites. Some of the basic supplies that I used to create these um, shaker, Chevy Chic shaker ornaments were, um, did come from Hobby Lobby. I used some wood bases um, that were ornaments. I used paper um, by Stamperia. I used the uh, Blue Land Collection, Pink Christmas, and Sweet Christmas Collection. I also used um, a lot of flowers and laces and trims and embellishments. Some of the items I purchased at Hobby Lobby. Um, some of the items I was gifted by my friend Shonda, who's slim cards, and also like some of the um, laces and trims and flowers came from craft supplies for you. And I think that's kind of the basics. I also used some circle dies to cut out um, the Stamperia paper. And so here, like I said, I'm just going to show you some of my favorites. Um, and then of course there's confetti and beads inside of each of them because they are shakers. And then I also use some like plastic packaging um, to keep it all in. So here's kind of the first one. It's an image of skates and there's some roses. I know it's probably tough to see on camera, but as you can see, I kind of edged everything with some beautiful laces and trims and uh, hung some beads and there's flowers. Most of them I have think have snowflakes on them. Um, and then I just have some seam binding or laces um, hanging my ornaments. My backs I did leave all clean and I did that on purpose because I was thinking you can still hang them on the tree. You could put another image back here or if you wanted to you could also put like a to and from whether you stamped it or you die cut it. You could also use this as a tag on a gift. Um, so there's a couple different ideas for that. So that was the first one. Here's my second one. This one I really love. I love all the little um, eyelet trim on this one. And this one's an image of, um, there's a couple birds in there for that one. And just a little bit different setup back here. There is some tool also in this one, some seam binding. Um, I do have some little bead sprays that hang out at the top. There is a, 
little snowflake kind of hidden back there too. So that's that one. And here's the next one, just again, very similar to the last one I just showed you, but different flowers. And then this one I have some silver leaves up at the top. Um, but another really gorgeous shaker. I really love how this one turned out. I used some flower trim um, just right here. This one isn't as um, large as, as this one with the trims. But the bases are all the same. Um, this one has a cute little country house in it. And then I used just some little um, metal, little flower spray that has metal and pearls on it. And again, my backs are all clean on them. And then the final ones I'm showing you are some blue ones. Um, and this one's really pretty. This one has um, some little birds in it. And then there's my little decorating up the top. This one has a little bit different um, bead spray up at the top. And then here's kind of the side of that one. I just used some trim on that one. Here's another gorgeous one. This one I love. I had the teardrop trim around this one. And um, just some different flowers up on the top, paper flowers. And this one has a little bit different bead spray up there. Um, this one just have a little birdhouse and there's some butterflies in this one. Then here's another one. This one has a little bit different trim around the side. Um, and then I'll hold it this way so you can kind of see the side of it with that trim. There's more tool and flowers and um, silver leaves and sprays up at the top of this one. So, so there's that one. And that one just has an image of some flowers and I think ivy and pine cones in that one. And then here is the final one. And again, um, I just decorated this one. It was a little bit different. I did put some flat back pearls around this one to kind of border it off. There's a lot of flowers and um, a snowflake. And I used two of these little um, bead sprays. And this one has a white leaf. And then also this little bead spray here with some tulle around it on that one. I am pleased to announce that for my giveaway today, I will be um, gifting the winner one of my Shabby Chic ornaments along with this prize package sitting here. And I did want to let everyone know that the winners will be announced for the giveaways on November 29th, but due to some family obligations, I'm not going to be able to meet that deadline and I apologize. Um, so I am going to have to ask you guys to come back and check my channel the first full week of December. Um, I will post my winner video and I will have it up no later than December 7th. And so besides the ornament that I will be gifting the winner, um, I did kind of come up with kind of a basic um, package that will get someone kind of going or started on creating their own little um, ornaments. And so these were the type of ornaments that I used to make my um, shabby chic ornaments. And then I just layered up some foam and the different elements. So this was my base that I started with. And so I did purchase these for um, the winner of my giveaway. But then when I went to go grab those at Hobby Lobby, they also had these ones, which I thought were actually kind of nice because they were already recessed. And so you could easily turn these into shaker ornaments too. It is a frame ornament. So you could um, actually put a photo or something in this one, but I thought these ones would be easy to make into a shaker ornament. So I also purchased these for the winner of my giveaway. I did also purchase a couple of um, some flat back buttons that are easy to glue on and use as embellishment pieces on um, an ornament or of course any other paper crafting if you want. So I did purchase those for my winner. I did purchase kind of a set of some flower sprays to use for decorating. I also am gifting the winner some gorgeous um, eyelet trim that they can use on an ornament or some other craft. And then the final item that I am gifting my winner is a set of nesting circle dies. I did use this exact same set to create my shaker ornaments. So um, I am gifting my winner this um, We Are Memory Keepers um, nesting circle dies. Thanks again so much for stopping by my channel today as part of the 2018 Christmas Craft Hop. And again, um, the next stop in the hop is Rosa Gomez's channel of Rosa's Creative Way. And her information is linked below in the description box. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.